What's up, guys? Sammy D here, and welcome to a Skyblock Season One, Agrarian Skies. So, I've done a lot of work off camera, and I haven't put an episode out for some time because I've been trying to get something we need for this episode. Now, the main thing I did, well, I sifted a bunch of gravel, but I created this system. And that's a little bit of what we're going to be doing today. So, I think that's really changed up here. Down there, I added some more farm things. I'm, some platforms. I'm not sure if we're going to use those or not. Um, but I completed a large portion of chat, of quests. And this is all the stuff I got from them. So first, hearts. Uh, do I have... Yep. So we're just gonna combine all these to these and 11 hearts. Next we're going to open up these good reward bags. Okay, what one is it? Regen, okay, that's really nice. Okay, that's really bad. A golden Nixon. I have no idea what that's mm. for. Mm. Uh, and mutton jerky. Okay. The regen's nice. Well, we can use that when we get into blood mm. magic. This one. Uh, lettuce seeds. Okay. Okay. A bunch of stuff that I didn't really want. But when we get into farming, I guess mm. that might come in handy, maybe. Um, oh, I also made some hamburgers. Because I went and I killed my cows for food. Um, and um, I got... Um, I got some steak, so I made, into ham made it into hamburgers. Um, mm. Now I'm just going to dump some of this stuff in the tools chest. Um, I'm really not sure what the Nixon's for. Um, now if I find my book binder, take out my quest book, and we're going to go into here, and we're going to show you what I've done in terms of quests. <clears throat> So, in learning to skyblock, I completed a lot of these. That I completed a while ago, and I actually got mm. a diamond hammer. Uh, I completed this. I got the enough for the autonomous activator. Mm. So, I completed that. Mm. That I completed. Um, mm. Um, mm. That's all in there. Nothing in Hell's Kitchen. Steel power. Completed this. Or might make that up today. Mm. Um, and here I completed these first two. Um, mm. And uh, those. Uh, mm. Let's see, is there anything else? No, that's all I completed. But it wasn't one. So we're just gonna. Mm go to sleep and what we're gonna do today is I want to set up an automatic sifting uh, system that automatically turns uh, go process it or turns cobble into um, mm. to gravel and then turns put and then sifts gravel mm. that's what we're gonna do behind that wall of barrels barrels over here see there's a door but first we gotta move this lava, and we gotta create a small power source, um, which I want to do with lava. Um, now, what I believe is if I put um, when I when I put when I put cobblestone in these, it's turns it into lava. Now, the thing is, I don't want these up here. There's, I don't like the lava dripping down. We're gonna put it somewhere else. And then we're gonna run pipes 
all the way over here. So, first I need to make some buckets. Now, I did find out I can use a aluminum instead of iron. Which is really nice to be able to do. Make buckets. See, can see that, that, and that. Yeah, pick up these. Now we have three buckets of lava. Now we're going to expand this in the near future, but for the time being, we're gonna three barrels is enough. Uh, we're gonna run this down the middle so we don't burn anything down. Uh, I'm really hoping I don't burn that down, but I think maybe since it's half slabs, I'm not sure. Um, There we go. Now I probably should have brought some more cobble. That's fine. There's some back over here. And um the big thing about this is the pulverizer. I don't want to have to move that. Uh well actually I think I will. I'm not sure. Uh I probably will. Yeah, that actually has to go over, back over that area, so yeah, I'm probably going to move it. Two and three. Now, now we need, I believe, hoppers and item ducks. Not item ducks, just hoppers and fluid ducks. Fluid ducks, I should be able to make. Should, should, should. Um. Yeah. So I believe it's. I'm gonna use six, take six sled and, um. Okay, I'm not sure. Uh, believe copper. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <coughs> Now, this should make us about 60 fluid ducks. Yes, it should. Oh, 36. That's fine. Um. Yeah. Mm. And we're going to need actually a lot more. Because we're going to run this mm. from there over to there. Um. Yeah. Okay, um. Okay, I'm gonna bring it up. Yeah, that should do. I'm gonna run it all the way over there. Now, I'll probably make do this off camera and probably make more. Do because that's gonna be this is gonna be a long process. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I ran the pipe all the way over there, and I just tested this out. Cobblestone does work. Now we s still aren't pumping lava over there, and currently we don't have the redstone to make what we need, but. What we do have is a steam dynamo, which I can use to as a temporary power source for um, pulverizer. But <clears throat> what I want to do first, first and foremost, is I want to set up the sifter system, and maybe we'll get some redstone with the amount of, of cobblestone. We have. I just want to make sure of something. Video settings. 
Yeah, since I got a new computer, I installed the pack on here, so I wasn't didn't I forgot that I had done that. Uh, okay, I thought we got more eggs in our inventory. So, first of all, oh, I was gonna say like. What, where'd the, uh, our item ducks go? <clears throat> uh, just wanna make sure no other, <coughs> this doesn't connect to any other inventories. Oh. Hang on. Okay, and then we're going to set each mode to vacuum. So, any item <coughs> that can fit in the barrel will go to that barrel first. Um, <coughs> instead of filling up another barrel. Uh, and then we'll set the barrels to lock, so only items of that type can go in. I somehow managed to put it in the uh, barrel. Now these barrels are simple to make. It's just seven logs, a chest, and a slab. Very simple to make. Okay. Now I'm going to set up the sifter. I think I haven't taken it down yet. It's up there. Uh, we're eventually going to have a sifter for all, for every item, for cobblestone, or for gravel, sand, dirt, or not, dirt, not dirt, clay, uh, no, cob gravel, sand, and dust. Um, right there and actually no we're gonna move this one back um, there um, item duct hmm. change this to output mo output mode and then Turn off any eye with O. See item outputs. We we want to there. That's gonna automatically output that way. And then we need to put the autonomous activator right there. And enabled. <clears throat> and now. If I can find the gravel I had, this should just work. Now, of course, we're going to have a pulverizer behind this. Um, and, yeah, pulverizer. Uh, probably facing this direction. The sand will go into another one here. Um... And then the we'll also go into some sand. We'll also go into a, another pulverizer to get turned into dust, I believe. Yeah. Um. Yes. Yeah, so let us grab <coughs> that gravel. If I remember where I put. Oh no, I had it. That kind of mm. figures. I don't remember putting it into a chest. So. Let's put it in here and see there. So it's kind of slow. If we had more than one, one it would go. Um, now let's just see if. You know what? We got him. 
make sure we might need to give this a redstone signal. Yes. Uh, we gotta sleep and um, there's levers in the house. I know I'm running, but I have these hamburgers. And uh, there's um. You know what? We'll use a pneumatic servo. We can make more, and hopefully we'll get some more redstone uh, from this. Okay. Um, ignored. That's being pu pulling everything out. Um, is it pulling things out? Yes, it pulled them out. And then it should just wind up in a barrel. Uh, yeah. To lock that one. Um. Which one? Okay. Okay. Here's another one. So we also know we're going to be getting the broken ores from this. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to get all the broken ores I have up here. And um, all the broken ores. Broken gold, broken nickel, broken tin, broken iron, broken platinum, broken aluminum, broken lead, broken silver. We're gonna, just going to dump all these ingots in here. Bit more broken copper. That's all the broken ores. So broken lead. Uh, broken copper. Uh, broken gold. And put that in here. Uh, take that. That. Um. This is a uh, broken tin. Uh, take out the amber. Broken lead. Let's see, broken nickel. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try to keep all the broken ores over here. Uh, let's see, wait. broken iron. Do I have any other iron in the system? Okay, silver, platinum, tin, silver, uh, nickel. Um, let's see. Appetite, we're going to put here. Lock that. Coal, we're going to put here. Um, flint, we're actually going to put here. Uh, lapis. Uh, so we're going to put here um yeah, well I'm gonna sort this out and I'll be right back okay guys so this finished I got one diamond amazingly the machine was luckier than I was cause within one stack it got a diamond it took me about f five six maybe eight stacks to get one diamond 
so unfortunately no redstone. That's fine, we have this. Um so we'll set up a quick system right here. Uh but first I need to make a saw. A saw a saw. A saw a saw. Um I think we'll make an iron saw. Uh we're gonna need two cobblestone. Uh, now, yeah, we can't use these for uh, that. We're going to make a uh, iron saw. I'm not exactly sure how much this is, so let's see. You know, stone, wood. Here we need one more. First, I'm gonna just see, make sure. Uh, what else is in here? Okay. I'm going to put the flint down there. The appetite, the amber, the quicksilver, lapis. Um. Oh. It's actually just what I needed. Iron saw. Um, I'll show you what that's for in just a minute. First, flint. Um, amber. Appetite. Lapis. Quicksilver. Okay. Now. Just going to take this here. Hmm. Just turn this on to covers, and I'm just going to put this. I guess uh, right here for now. Okay. Aqueous accumulator. Now this, by its, on its own, will create a very small amount of water. Uh, and I think, yeah, the pulverizer is probably going to go right uh, up here, I think. Uh, yeah, that looks like a good place. I get out my pick. And we're gonna go down into controls. Shift click there, so let's see input. It's gonna be on the top. Output of red. Um Yeah, output of red will be there. And um No wait, hold on. That's gonna be red. That's going to be yellow. Um, then I'm going to make... Uh, see if it's... That's the front, so then... That's... There. Now I'm just going to have to... I'll put some covers there, 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 and there. Uh, get my crescent hammer out. There. So all the gravel will go right out the side into there. Um, this should be filling with water. Yes, it should, but we, we're going to make the, increase this the power of that <clears throat> if by because if we add water to it, it produces more of an output of water. Only if it's on one of its sides. <clears throat> um, water there. Water there. 
So now, as you can see, <coughs> it's producing a lot more water. And this should be almost full. Now, uh, since this is only a temporary power source, coal is going to go into there to create steam and power this. And finally, uh, I'm gonna take a dead chest. I'm gonna. <clears throat> fill my inventory with cobble. And. We're going to. Put. This. Right. Uh. There. Um, pneumatic servo, okay, ignored, we're going to put all this cobblestone in there, should be put in, brought into there. Should be pulverized and should, if I'm right, go into there. Yep, it's working. Yep. Now, this will produce some sand. So, now we have the automated system, and hopefully, we get some more redstone soon and we can hook it up so this we can take lava from uh, that pipe over over there and replace this with a magmatic dynamo and uh, be a lot uh, more efficient on power. Now I just want to go see okay um, this is actually not pumping out lava right now. I think, I think, I think, we're going to first take a sleep, and we're going to put a tank in between this, um, with, for a middleman. Um, just want to see what size. This is a hardened, yeah, this invar, um, I think we have some other tanks we can use. Um, just gonna take a sleep, and we'll see what other tanks we have. Tanks from open blocks do just fine. I think the middle man, middle tank. I think I'll put it right here. I might move it later on. Uh. So, we use this final, uh, pneumatic servo on this, and, okay, now I have some levers there, uh, I'll use brown stained clay for the time being and we're gonna pull out some lava start the system up and make it start it now, actually we don't need brown stained clay uh, put output output so the lava is draining down um, it should soon end up in there, and I want to grab a large amount of cobblestone, if I can fit it, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm just going to empty out some stuff so I can fit 15 stacks of cobblestone. Or actually, 14 is fine. But, uh, we never really used that much cobblestone, but we're actually getting off in there. Never used this much cobblestone. Wait. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. But now we actually have a use for having that much cobblestone. Um, and that use over there too. Um, I think I'm going to have to kickstart that again. 2... Shift. There we go. Now we're putting out a large no amount of lava. These tanks are going, these pipes are going to fill. Uh, so the pipes and tank together will create a uh, buffer. Just want to see. Yeah. Yeah, that's all filled with lava. This will fill with lava. Um, yeah, this will fill with lava, and this pipe will fill with lava. It's going to hold 16 buckets, so... Pretty nice, nice portion of lava. Um, I want to see where this is in comparison with... That. Now, I make more item decks later, but what I wanted to do was I wanted to run the um, lava up into that tank, but I'll do that another time. So. Uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please leave a rating. That would be greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, until next time, goodbye. <laughs>